Hi, it's time to take a look at step four, PID test rack. Uh, right now, I have my quadcopter mounted on this test rack right here. So I have the PVC pipes all assembled, and as you can see, I have the quadcopter mounted on the, the PVC with just tied on by a few pieces right here. I have actually three connection points, one on each side, and then one on the back as well. And it's pretty tight, but not too tight. Um, but I do want to have just a tiny little bit of movement, but I really don't want to have too much wiggle at all. So let me show you how it should look when we have it correctly tuned. And if your quadcopter out operates like this, then um, you're ready to go on to the next step. So turn your controller on first, and always wear your safety glasses. Lab coat is optional. So down to the right arm. Now, arms. now I'm going to first check if it disarms by going down, by uh, basically going down and to the right, or down to the left, so disarm. Yeah, so as I see here, down to the right arm, down to the left to disarm. Great, perfect. And you got to be really careful with the throttle. You can see I just flipped it just a teeny bit, and it did the throttle. So try that again. Now if I could do it down to the right. Now if I don't put any inputs into it, about uh, 5 to 10 seconds later, it's just going to turn off and disarm all by itself. But you can see that takes a bit of time too, so you want to be aware of that as well. And I think if I go to down in to the right arm, there we go, the arm again. Down to the left, this arm. There we go, and that, that covers just basically your first basic step. You want to make sure you can arm it and disarm it. If you haven't, if you can't do either of those, we need to go back to the other videos and take a look at that and see what's happening. Maybe there's a fail safe, plug it into the computer, take the props off, and see what fail safe it's giving you. We're going to check the basic controls of our quadcopter. When we pitch forward and back, for example, it needs to be pitching forward and then coming back. So we'll check that now. I'll arm it. And I have to give it a little bit of throttle so it doesn't disarm. So I'll just do a teeny bit, just like that. Now I'll pitch forward. And you can see it slowly pitches forward. Now I'll pitch back. And slowly pitches back. I can also check roll. And rolling to the left. And that's it. Y'all is difficult to test in the test rack because it's difficult to see. Arm it, throttle up a little bit, and now you off to the left. Difficult to see, but that's basically yaw. All right, now that we've gone through the correct way that the multi rotor should be flying on the test rack, we're going to go through a few worst case scenarios or what if scenarios that might happen. And we can't really cover every single area you're going to run into, but we'll cover a few of the most common ones. I should also note, I don't have the safety ducts on, so you should never fly your quadcopter on the test track like this. We're just going to illustrate what could happen if you do everything wrong. I'm just going to step back. I'm arming it down to the right. You can see it's not really flying at all. It's actually bad. It's hitting the wire. The propellers are just going crazy. If you can see here, we actually have all the propellers on, um, not just backwards, but um, upside down. So that's, so that's what happens when, what it looks like when uh, the propellers are mounted upside down. Now we're, now we're going to test the quadcopter with all the props on backwards. It's like the blue and the other way. Yeah, just need to throw it just a little bit and try to flip. Just try to pitch it. Oh, yeah. Try to roll. And just not. Yeah, 
Now keep in mind too, when you disarm, it takes a few seconds for it actually to stop. I just wanted to show you a quick review of what happened so you can see just having it hit the the string. Now I've actually fixed the string so it's a little bit better further away from the props, but there's actually a few more notches out of this propeller. Well here we go, taking a closer look at the quadcopter, we can actually see that the zip ties actually flew off. I think that's what hit the the propeller actually hit the zip ties, blew those off, and you can see now that the speed control on the bottom is loose. Okay, now we have two props on correctly and two props on incorrectly. Let's see what happens. Safety glasses on. Okay, now we're going to try with um, three of the props that are on correctly and one of them is incorrect. Alright, there we go. I bet you can tell which prop was the one on backwards.